Evening everyone, it's Audrey, Stitchy Witch 42. It is Sunday night, July 26th. Repeat, Sunday night, July 26th. It's not August. Do you know what that means? It means the crafting burrow is done. And I am standing up here in my Hobbit library with the sword that started this whole room. Mark finished the crafting burrow today so it is time for me to give you a tour I am doing it this late in the evening because Mark just left the house to go do night paving it's been a high of 99 here today and everything up here is warm I do have the AC unit on in the crafting burrow so it's gonna be a bit loud in there but you wanna see it you don't care if you hear an AC unit, right? So anyway, here is the door with the sword that started my whole Hobbit library. And I'm just going to give you a little pan around the room here. This is my wall that represents my children, my son and my daughter, who were both in the Navy, military family, always have been, always will be. This is a little haunted house that was made for me by my friend Carol Lee. A 1934 silver tone radio. My dad's big old oak desk. This is where I do all my journaling. And I didn't really clean up today. So let's pan back around slowly, not making anybody motion sick. Hagatha in her chair. She sits here year-round. She's quite happy here. She likes her library. Evening in the Shire. When I saw this piece, I had to stitch it for this room. Yeah, you might say I like dragons. I do have a few of them. And there is my Hobbit door. It opens up in three places. It opens up in the center, which will be what we go through to pass into the crafting burrow, and it opens up on both sides to ac access the bookcases behind it. So hold on just a moment. Let's go into the burrow. So here you are. You are now inside the door of the crafting burrow. And what you are looking at there is something that I am incredibly proud of. When my son was in Navy basic training, his squad, each squad makes a flag. Everybody submits a design, two are chosen, one for either side of the flag. Uh, when basic training was over, he asked his commander if he could have his side of the flag and give it to me. His squad voted. And as you can see, I got my son's side of the flag that they created when he was in basic training. So, let's take a tour around the crafting burrow. I am standing on the south wall. I'm standing right in front of the kitchen window, bedroom window. And like I said, this room is 66 square feet. So, I'm going to pan to my right and I'm going to show you where my crafting table is at. This is about as much room as I have to show you because this room isn't very big. But as you can see, Mark put the pegboard up on the walls and I have some things hung up there. I have some things organized up there. I have underneath um, baskets with frames for future finishes. Uh, basket with all my project bags. Um, in the corner I have my polyfill, my sewing machine case, some bubble wrap. 
on the table itself I have a pillow form because I have projects to, to finish that are underneath here. Against this wall, this is the back wall of the house, and I'm now standing right in front of the AC unit, so I hope it's not too loud. This is the IKEA book frame, bookcase that I found at a garage sale, and Mark put the shelf on top of it so that I can use the whole top of it for storage. But there is that side there, those blue containers those have patterns in them. Um, the cubbies down below, one is full of magazines, one has more polyfill. These are the two drawer units that I purchased that I was hoping to get them in black. They didn't come in black. I finally had Mark put them together as is. So they are in the this one that I'm pointing to has my unbombarded DNC in it, DMC in it. This one is pretty much empty. This case right here, Mark had out in his uh, shop. He used it for storing 12 by 12 sheets of sandpaper. When he stopped using it, I took one of my bobbin boxes and it fit perfectly in there. There is a block behind them so they don't slide back in too far, but that's where my bobbinated DMC floss is. Up above are things that people have sent to me. This is not all of them by any means, but these are some of the things that have been sent, sent to me. Um, I have my fancy floss hanging from my Salem Broomstick Broom Company. One of my favorite things in this room is this lovely piece right here. This witch's hat was a gift that was sent to me by Amy of Amy Loves Toads. Her husband cut that out with their laser cutter and it holds all my needle minders. My self-isolating bat, I didn't show it to you when it was completely finished. It has the chenille trim around it now. My witch sign here is hiding a defunct light switch that doesn't work, needs to be removed. This is my floor lamp here with a Halloween mask and a, what do they call the hats? Oh, I can't think of what it is. On this wall, I have my herbal grimoire. That was finished in the little uh, shadow box tray case that I found at Goodwill for six, maybe seven dollars. On this side, you can see there is a bed there. It is underneath a shelf that matches the one behind me now. Um, this is like a trundle bed now. When the bed is not used, when I'm not having any guests over, it's pushed up underneath the shelf. If somebody comes over, we can just roll it out. They have the whole bed to use. And then they have the shelf as a side table. And of course, on this shelf, I have to have the book that started my whole journey on Floss 2. A piece that I did a stitch along with with uh, Vicky Stitch and Buttons. More Witch Ephemera because Stitchy Witch 42. One of many hats I have. And I don't know if you remember this piece or not. This is the one that I found at the garage sale that I couldn't decide whether it was cross stitch or not. And when I got it home, discovered that it is actually not cross stitch but a print but it belongs in here simply because of that story and then the other things that I have on this wall right now this is the luminary that was sent to me by 
oh, I'm not going to mention a name because I know I'm going to get it wrong. Uh, when I received the stacking boxes, this was one of the luminaries that was in there. I took it down and have it fr had it framed. That is my tree from Quaker Gone Haunted. And my band sampler, Be Well and Stitch, from our current coronavirus pandemic of 2020. So let's come over here to this corner. You can see I don't have much space in here, but I think that I have managed to fit a lot of stuff in here. I still have more that I can put on both pegboards. I still have more that I can put into these drawers over here, on that wall, on this wall, and this shelf. Welcome to the crafting burrow, or as I'm now calling this area of the house, welcome to my witch wing. Anyway, I thought you would all enjoy the final reveal of my crafting burrow. I am so excited it's done and I can now use it and get myself more organized and once again I want to show you my pride and joy my flag for my son to everyone who has served is serving or will serving thank you you have my utmost respect to everyone else live long and stitch on bye bye